I'm Dr. Anthony Galzerano. I'm here at my office, Wissick and Chiropractic, which is located in the Roxborough section of Philadelphia. Today I'm going to speak to you briefly about spinal stenosis. If you have spinal stenosis, if you've been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, you probably have pain, sometimes numbness and tingling. If it's in your lower back, you may have even problems walking. You may have problems gripping if it's in your neck. So, let me explain what that is. In your spine, and here we have a plastic model of the spine. Here's the base of the skull. And the spinal cord exits the base of the skull and goes through a canal called the central canal, which is inside the spine. It starts at your neck, it goes through your middle back, it ends at the bottom of your rib cage. It continues as what's called the corda equina, which is a bundle of nerves. There's so many that it looks like a horse's tail. And corda equina means horse's tail in Latin. Then they come out and they exit from between the vertebrae. I have another model that shows that a little better. Here are, the, here are the nerves and they come out from between the bones. So you have the central canal coming down and then you have the lateral canals where the nerves come out. And those nerves go everywhere in your body. From your neck, they go out to your arms, your hands, and your lower back. They go down to your legs and your feet and they control the function of, your, of not only your muscles, but also your organs. So sometimes people will have digestive problems, they'll have sexual problems, they'll have uh, thyroid problems. Sometimes these are actually caused by irritation in the neck or in the lower back or in the middle back that is irritating nerves that are controlling those organs. So spinal stenosis, sometimes people are born with it, they just have a smaller canal. And then as they get older, as there's a little bit of bulging in the discs, or if there's a herniation in the disc, or if there is some bone spurring or thickening of the ligaments in there, anything can intrude on that space. And if it intrudes on the space, you can have pressure on the nerve. If you have pressure on the nerve, you may have a problem somewhere else in your body. So with chiropractic, I know we, we do adjustments and often, unless the spinal stenosis is very severe, we can affect it and get some of the pressure off and give you relief from your symptoms. If you've been in a car accident, then you're predisposed to having some problems because if you already have spinal stenosis, because there's not much tolerance, there's not much room in there. So if there's swelling, if there is a herniation of the disc, then you're much more likely to get symptoms than if you did not have spinal stenosis. Thank you for your time. I'll speak to you in another video.